Right, tea bar curls. Uh, what I mean by tea bar is it's a tricep bar. That's why it's uh, brought down to tea bar. Now, the reason we're doing it on this bar is that we can get our hands in a, the position where our palms are facing inwards and we're working the bicep in a longer position. By doing this and using the, the bar, we can stick his elbows into a side and get a nice control movement. Like I say, it's working the bicep in a much longer position than if your palms are facing upwards. If you don't have a T-bar available, you can replicate the same exercise by doing hammer curls with the dumbbells. Now, this time you're not gonna be able to dig your elbows into your side and get supported that way, so your, your weights may come down a little bit. But all we're doing is keeping the elbows in by the side, curling up to the top of the chest, and back down. You're coming close to your shoulders, don't come too far up and take the pressure off your biceps. And that's your hammer curls. Uh, it's very good for me because I've had torn bicep tendons and it alleviates a lot of the pain from that area. So I give those a bash. You've got either your T-bar hammer curls or your hammer curls with your dumbbells. Thanks.